Today I will talk about Papillary Thyroid Carcinoma Definition Papillary Carcinoma is the most common type of Thyroid Carcinoma, comprising 75-85% to 85% of cases. It can occur at all ages including children and young adults. But the incidence is higher with advancing age. The tumor is found about three times more frequently in females than in males. Papillary carcinoma is typically a slow-growing malignant tumor, most often presenting as an asymptomatic solitary nodule. Involvement of the regional lymph nodes is common, but distant metastases to organs are rare. Some cases first come to attention by spread to regional lymph nodes and cause cervical lymphadenopathy. Lateral aberrant thyroid is the term used for occurrence of thyroid tissue in the lateral cervical lymph node, which in most patients represents a well-differentiated metastasis of an occult papillary carcinoma of the thyroid. Morphologic features Grossly, papillary carcinoma may range from microscopic foci to nodules up to 10 cm in diameter and is generally poorly delineated. Cut surface of the tumor is grayish-white, hard and scar like this photo. Sometimes the tumor is transformed into a cyst, into which numerous papillae project and is termed papillary cystadenocarcinoma. Histologically, the following features are present. 1. Papillary pattern. Papillae composed of fibrovascular stalk and Covered by single layer of tumor cells is the predominant feature. Papillae are often accompanied by follicles. 2. Tumor cells. The tumor cells have characteristic nuclear features. Due to dispersed nuclear chromatin imparting at ground glass, or optically clear appearance and clear or oxyphilic cytoplasm, these tumor cells, besides covering the papillae, may form follicles and solid sheets. 3. Invasion. The tumor cells invade the capsule and intrathyroid lymphatics, but invasion of blood vessels is rare. 4. Somoma bodies. Half of papillary carcinomas show typical small, concentric, calcified spherules, called somoma bodies in the stroma. Diagnosis. There are a number of tests your doctor may use to diagnose papillary thyroid cancer. 1. Fine Needle Aspiration Biopsy As with all forms of cancer, thyroid cancer is diagnosed from the results of a biopsy. To determine if a thyroid nodule is cancerous, doctors use a fine needle aspiration biopsy FNA. This is usually the first test doctors will use if they suspect thyroid cancer and, in some cases, it may be the only test used. 2. Imaging tests. Your doctor may order imaging tests to better view the thyroid. Arguably the most common imaging test for thyroid cancer is an ultrasound. An ultrasound uses sound waves to create an image of the thyroid. A small, handheld instrument is placed on the skin over the thyroid and transmits the sound waves and produces an image. 3. Blood tests. Though blood tests alone can't diagnose papillary thyroid cancer, they can determine if you have healthy levels of thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH. This information will help your doctor understand how well your thyroid gland is functioning overall. If it is found to be overfunctioning, hyperthyroid, then this has implications for further workup with a thyroid nuclear scan and for medical treatment. Treatment. Most cancers are treated with removal of the thyroid gland, thyroidectomy. Although small tumors that have not spread outside, the thyroid gland may be treated by just removing the side of the thyroid containing the tumor, lobectomy. If lymph nodes are enlarged or show signs of cancer spread, they will be removed as well. In addition, recent studies have suggested that people with micropapillary cancers, very small thyroid cancers, may safely choose to be watched closely with routine ultrasounds rather than have immediate surgery.